battle with the Goblin King, the heroes searched the castle. They found strange clues hinting of another princess. It seemed that Isabel and Rosabel had been close once, but what had happened to them? Despite Amadeus's reluctance, Zoya led them to the cellars to uncover secrets left in the dark. We'll take a quick look around and then come back to the surface fast, right? Oh! Run for your lives! What an holy nightmare is this! Trine! Trine! Come back and take me home! I can't take this anymore! It's probably just a little bitty part of a giant crab. Little? This? You're not helping. And now, acid? It won't eat through my shield. I just had it acid-proofed at the smithy last week.
This isn't doing anything. Hear that? It sounds like it's jammed or broken. Looks like another job for the wizard. Let's go and try it out.
starting to feel uncomfortable about this. What? The snail? Hunting for long lost treasure in a sewer filled with these things. Looks like one of Rosabelle's mirrors. Rosie, where are you? Isabel? Lady Princess, come back! Let's follow her. While trying to save their kingdom, the heroes had been drawn into a tangle of intrigue and mystery. Following the elusive shadow of Isabel, the heroes stepped through Rosabel's mirror. As they passed through the portal, they felt a freezing cold touch, leaving them chilled to the bone. I'm so grateful that you've slain the Goblin King. Now, please, hand over the trine. We can't do that even if we wanted to. It's bound to us. I see. Where is your sister? Poor Isabel. I'm afraid her magic has cursed the forest. But if you give me the artifact, we can remove the enchantment for good. No, we'll come with you and face her together. I'm afraid I can't allow that. And now we're trapped. <laughs> well, well, what have we here? The goblin-hating adventurers locked up in our dungeons. You'll never get out. Not while I have you in my sight. Then let's get out of his sight. Where did they go? To get out of this place, wherever we are. Yes, and find out what's going on with Rosabelle and her sister. This Isabel makes the trees and plants grow back home. Why would she do that? Maybe she's a wicked cackling witch gone mad. But it's Rosabelle who took her and locked her up somewhere. But princesses ought to be nice and lovely, not tearing each other's hair or destroying kingdoms over crowns.
looks like the forge all over again. A human kingdom in the far west. They are rich with fat pigs and tasty sheep. No more snails. We go in the cover of forest, attack in the dark, and steal all their pigs. Oh, and their pies. And their pies. Their ales. And their women. Ails? Thick ice. 
My hammer's no good here. to melt the ice to continue their escape. Dear Isabel, it's best for us both if you stay here for a while. I intend to be queen. I'm much better at it. Don't try to escape. You will be cared for during your stay. Rosabel. As the heroes read the letter, the kingdom's fate suddenly made sense. Rosabel had taken Isabel's place as the crown princess, but something had gone wrong, and their kingdom had ended up in ruins and overtaken by goblins. That sorceress! She'll meet the end of my sword if she dares show her face again! This icy slope will be the death of us.
The path stops here. And it's a long way down. How am I going to get away? Help me, little tree. Grow your branches long and strong so I may pass. Isabel? She made the tree grow. As if by magic. The heroes had discovered that Isabel was indeed Rosabel's sister. The journey back to Rosabel's house took the trio down the side of a mountain and through the perilous haunted forests. Now their progress was made swifter, for it seemed as if the whole forest had come alive to help them get back safely. Hoping to catch Rosabel off guard, they made their way to a balcony high atop the petrified tree. Let's storm this lair! It's kind of sad. They look so happy together. Wait! There's something behind this picture. Look here. Princess Isabel! Your saviors are here! Your Majesty, wake up! Can you hear us? Are you hurt, Princess? We'll free you in a moment. The heroes yelled and called for the Princess, but she did not stir from her death-like slumber. She can't hear us. She seems unconscious. Of course, the enchanted sleep spell. It's almost irreversible. You shouldn't be here. So, the artifact of souls is bound to you three. I wonder what happens to it when you all die. The artifact will never help you. You'll never get away with this, whatever your crooked plan is. Silence, you rabble! I didn't intend for the forest to steal Isabel's powers. But with your artifact, I can bring order back to this land. First, I need to get rid of you three. Let me introduce you to my little pet. Oh no! What's her- Not the dragon! Aim for the earrings! <laughs> my warmest regards! You're only delaying the inevitable! Your treachery will not go unpunished! You betrayed your sister to become queen! And I would have stayed queen if the forest hadn't stolen her powers. Tremble in fear! These peasants' death is not creatures of the night. Heed my call. Deal with this rabble!
my pet. His will is bound to my will. His strength to my strength. Vines holding the sleeping princess began to untangle and withdraw. W what is happening? Am I alive? Rosie! The amazed heroes saw Rosabel fall down into the underground lake. Isabel dived after the sinking shadow of Rosabel. After a moment, Isabel returned carrying her sister. Thank you for freeing me, heroes. Pleased to meet you, Lady Princess. If only the circumstances could be more cheerful. Rosie, she was always very stubborn. Can we get you anything? A towel? I, I just want to go home. I'm afraid your castle lies in ruins. Not to mention you've some grave issues with your plumbing. How are we going to get out of here? The portals are all gone now. Just then, the trine appeared and shed its golden light around the cavern. The light grew warmer and brighter, wrapping everyone with an invisible blanket of comfort and safety. The cavernous tunnel vanished from their sight. The trine brought our heroes back to the very forest where the wizard and the knight had met at the beginning of the journey. We did what we set out to do. Our kingdom is safe, and the forest has turned back to normal. How did we do that? It was Isabel's magic that affected the forest. Now that she's free, the balance has been restored. No! I forgot to bring that magic water with me for the potatoes. Here, I have a whole skin full of magic water. Zoya! You're a decent sort after all. It'll cost you five gold. What? 
You already got a crown today. <laughs> the three heroes spent the night talking of the great adventure before they headed back home. So the princess and the pumpkins had been rescued and the great adventure drew the to end? a close. You wish we've got a surprise. Uh ho, uh ho, goblins are afoot. Let me tell you a little story that reveals more about the goblins we last encountered in the wilderness. As the goblins were doing their dark work, our three valiant heroes were returning home from their quest. Amadeus, Pontius and Zoya, heroes of the Trine, had come back at last after a long journey across distant lands. Lanterns and decorations had been put up all over the town in celebration for the hero's homecoming. They stopped in the tavern to enjoy the warmth of the fire and hear the latest news. And Pontius, of course, looked forward to having a huge feast. Barkeep, the champions return and they are thirsty. I'd better head home to Margaret. I don't want more trouble. I've had my share of dragons. It's very quiet here. Where is everyone? I have this feeling like we've forgotten something. Let's see. We rescued the princess. We rescued the pumpkins. Goblins! Goblins at the walls! I get children! <laughs> Never a dull moment. <laughs> And I thought I'd have a nice cup of tea and a change of clothes. Where's it going? Let's make haste. There must be more goblins at the walls.
hear something approaching. All of a sudden, I really want bacon. should find Lady Margaret first, before we go and kick them goblins out. Never mind her right now. I'm sure she'll just breathe fire on anyone who even looks at her the wrong way. I agree. Let's deal with these goblins first.
swamps. Listen, we has the Margaret. Ooh, ooh. What? Annabeth, is that true? Margaret? Oh, where in the devil have you been? Sort this out immediately. The wyvern will take care of you now. You're in for a little ride. Oh, now I get it. You're staging a false kidnapping to get off the hook for disappearing. And remember, don't come back. Or the woman gets it. <laughs> Have a nice trip to wherever. And somebody make her stay quiet. Outsmarted by Weeze the Goblin, the trio was flown away to distant lands by a terrifying wyvern beast. Where are they taking her? The wicked goblins had threatened to harm Margaret should the heroes return. Cowards! All cowards! To steal an innocent woman! A woman, anyway. The new adventure had now taken a grave turn indeed.